What's up everyone, Roomkey here, and today I'm going to give you some basic tips, tricks, and strategies to help you infect the world in the iOS and Android game, Plague Inc. If you played Pandemic 2 on the PC before, you should feel right at home with Plague Inc. The core game is the same, with a few improvements, like additional plague types and more in-depth customization of how your disease behaves. And also, Greenland is the new Madagascar. Just like Pandemic 2, the most common strategy to use is to keep your plague free of symptoms and focus on transmission and infectivity to avoid being detected by the doctors of the world until you've infected every last person on Earth. Then you can unleash hell on the world in the form of deadly symptoms, coma and total organ failure being the most effective killers. Using this general strategy will let you easily cruise through all the plague types on casual and normal difficulties, but some additional strategies specific to each plague type will be necessary if you want to conquer the world on brutal difficulty. But before we get to that, let's go over some general strategies that should help you in every scenario. Pay attention to the pop-up news blurbs and change your plague accordingly. If ships start using new sterilization methods on the ships, then you'll have to upgrade your plague's water transmission in order to infect countries that only have harbors. If scientists say that they have an increased understanding of some symptom like diarrhea, then avoid giving your disease diarrhea when you start to focus on giving it symptoms. Everyone has their own favorite countries to start their plague in, but none of them are perfect in every scenario. My personal go-to locations are Canada, the UK, and Saudi Arabia. But if you're having trouble infecting a specific country, like Madagascar or Greenland, then try starting your disease there and see if it benefits you. An ideal starting country has both air and sea ports and is connected to at least one other country by land. Random mutations can either be an annoyance that threatens to blow your disease's cover, or can be thought of as free symptoms that save you DNA points, depending on how far along you are with infecting the world. Bear in mind that transmission types other than air and water increase the chances of your plague having a random mutation. If you do start using symptoms to increase infectivity, be sure that you use combos to your advantage. Combos can effectively increase your disease's infectivity without making you spend additional DNA points. Bear in mind though that these combos can make your disease more severe and more lethal and can even speed up the cure process. Now that we've covered the general tips, let's look at some strategies specific to each plague type. Bacteria should be pretty obvious. Stay low, infect everyone, then kill everyone. Virus type can be a little bit tricky because of how frequent it mutates new symptoms. If you're going by the lay low strategy, you'll have to devolve any symptoms your virus mutates, even if devolving starts costing you DNA points. Alternatively, once you are ready to move to the kill phase, use your virus's frequent mutation to your advantage by saving you DNA points that you had to spend on de-evolution earlier. Just be sure not to overkill before you infect everyone on the planet, and don't be afraid to use a reshuffle if the cure becomes too close to completion. Fungus is by far the most boring plague type in the entire game, and requires a lot of patience to succeed using it, especially if you're on brutal difficulty. This plague type offers a special skill that lets you infect a new country by spending just a couple DNA points, but don't give in to the temptation as it can be a huge DNA point sink when you need those points later in the game. Just be patient, infect as many countries as you can, and only use the spore release ability when you get down to the last few countries, like Greenland or Madagascar. By the time you get to the Parasite Plague type, it'll seem like a nice break, as it is relatively easy to use given the fact that Parasites have the ability to become less noticeable and harder to cure all in one, giving you the freedom to use a couple symptoms to help you infect people without triggering the cure countdown. As you can see here, I was able to kill a few million people with my Parasite on brutal difficulty before it was even noticed. The bottom line for success here is to be sure to max out Symbiosis right away and you'll be golden. Prion should be another nice break like Parasite is, since it's hard for people to detect. All you have to do with Prion is beef up resistances to make up for how slow it is to adapt to new environments, and invest in things like Atrophy and Encryption Breached to slow down the cure process. Nanovirus is definitely one of the more fun plague types in the game. People are immediately aware of you, and that forces you to go on the offensive in terms of symptoms instead of laying low and waiting for your disease to spread. Infecting people with the nanovirus is easy as cake, and will result in you getting a lot of DNA points very fast. But be sure not to spend them all at once, because the DNA points become a lot more scarce in the second half of the game. Last but not least, we have the bioweapon, which is similar to the nanovirus in the sense that it forces you to play in the offensive from the beginning with symptoms, only this time, instead of being immediately revealed to the doctors, it is immediately capable of killing people infected with it meaning people die instead of passing on the disease to new people. 
It may be tempting to suppress how lethal your bioweapon is in the first half, and then use the total annihilation ability to strike down humanity in the second half, but the best way to succeed with the bioweapon is to start out using only symptoms like coughing and sneezing to boost an infectivity, and then use your standard go-to killers like total organ failure to increase the carnage near the end. Once you beat all the main plague types in the game, you can move on to using the new plague type, the Neuroworm, but I'll let you figure out how to win with that one. Anyways, that's going to be the end of my Plague Inc. tips, so thank you for watching, and I hope this guide has aided you in your conquest of Earth.